with the niche. And that is, you know, what we're going to do here. But ideally, if you can pick something that you're going to really be interested in, and even if you don't really know how to do it, that is the best scenario. If it's something that you're passionate about and you can turn around and make money with it, I mean, you know, that's a great marriage. Let's say that you were into skydiving. Well, what if you could make money skydiving? What if you didn't have to necessarily, you know, pay to skydive, but you could actually make money and your job would pay you to do your skydiving? You know, whatever you, content you could create for that. That's the kind of thing that we're talking about. So if you didn't have to work, what would you like to do every single day? And then ask yourself, what do I know? And this could be a hobby or it could be work. Maybe you've got that nine to five or eight to five job, but on your job, you do something specific. You've got skills, you've got talents that are specific to your job. You need to write that down. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, we're going to uh, definitely use it. But what we're doing here is brainstorming. We're getting ideas. And believe it or not, some people can take their regular mundane everyday work skills that they have and they can turn that around and they can make an information product let me give you an example insurance is one of those things that is a little bit uh, you know cloudy for a lot of people if you happen to be an insurance agent then you know some things you know you have some knowledge that you could sell that's information you could create an information product in that niche and voila there you go. You're making money off of what you know from work, not just, you know, selling insurance, which I'm sure is, is very profitable, but uh, it's more profitable if you can sell that information. Now, I want to mention at this point, again, we're brainstorming for ideas and these ideas are in niches. These ideas are in little categories. We're not specifically going towards a product at this point. OK, we're not pinpointing it. We're actually going to do that in the next video. Right now, uh, you know, we're thinking about skills that we have. We're thinking about hobbies that we have, uh, something that we would like to do, but it's pretty uh, general at this point. Okay, and then the third question is, what do my friends know? And you're going to ask the exact, the, the same things that you're beating yourself up about, that you're trying to rack your brain, okay, to think about. You want to do the same thing on your friends. Bounce those questions off your friends because you can get great ideas from them and they might even be the person that will help you get that thing created. Maybe your friend knows how to play the guitar and you don't know, uh, but you would like 